The U.S. secretly conducted a hypersonic missile test last month. Here's what you need to know. The U.S. Air Force tested Lockheed Martin's supersonic air-breathing weapon concept in March, but kept it secret to avoid increasing tensions with Russia. A DARPA press release said the missile was initially accelerated up to high speeds by a booster stage. It then engaged its air-breathing scramjet engine, which propelled it to a speed faster than Mach 5. The hypersonic missile maintained that speed for an extended period of time, flying higher than 65,000 feet and traveling more than 300 nautical miles. Launched from a B-52H bomber, the missile can conduct short or no-notice strikes against time-sensitive and other critical targets. As with other hypersonic missiles, it can maneuver within the atmosphere, meaning it can fly more unpredictably than ballistic missiles. The initial secrecy around the launch comes in contrast to Russian claims of using hypersonic missiles against targets in Ukraine, but both gestures point toward a wider hypersonic arms race already ongoing. On Tuesday, it was announced that the U.S. would work with Britain and Australia in developing nuclear-capable hypersonic weapons, according to The Guardian, and this is seen as a response to developments in the area by Russia and China. Last summer, for instance, one Chinese hypersonic missile test set an apparent benchmark by going around the world, according to a second most senior U.S. general, John Hyten. Speaking to CBS News, the general said the missile dropped off a hypersonic glide vehicle that glided all the way back to China, adding weight to the story broken by the Financial Times, which described the glide vehicle's ability to travel at five times the speed of sound, the minimum figure to be considered hypersonic. That vehicle missed its target by around 40 kilometers, but General Hyden called this close enough to prompt U.S. concern about China's new technological capability. Clarifying exactly what the development of this technology means, USA Today reports that while ballistic missiles reach altitudes of 1,300 to 2,000 kilometers before descending and can be detected by radar systems, hypersonic glide vehicles keep a lower trajectory and can maneuver within the atmosphere, making them difficult to detect and destroy. Both types of missiles are capable of carrying nuclear warheads, but the Financial Times adds that China's missile, which is classified as a fractional orbital bombardment system, can also fly over the South Pole, while most U.S. missile defense systems are aimed at attacks over the North Pole. All of these details were likely close to hand when another U.S. general, Mark Milley, chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, described the testing of the Chinese weapon as close to a Sputnik moment, referring to the Soviet Union's 1957 launch of the first Earth-orbiting artificial satellite, which caught the U.S. unprepared and sparked efforts to catch up. His point is highly debatable, however, with the Washington Post pointing out last year that, starting in 1959, the United States and the Soviet Union have deployed intercontinental ballistic missiles that travel more than 20 times the speed of sound, before adding that the missile defense system this hypersonic missile will apparently nullify, has failed three of its last six tests, according to journalist and author Fred Kaplan, and could already be rendered useless with small asymmetric measures such as simply firing two missiles at the same time. An experimental hypersonic missile developed by the U.S. military was destroyed four seconds after its test launch in Alaska early on Monday. The weapon, known as the Advanced Hypersonic Weapon, can carry a nuclear bomb or conventional payload weighing up to 12,000 pounds and was developed by Sandia National Laboratory and the U.S. Army. It is part of a program to create a missile that can hit targets anywhere on Earth within an hour of acquiring data and receiving permission to launch. The weapon was launched by a rocket at the Kodiak Launch Complex on Kodiak Island off the southern Alaska coast on Monday. It was scheduled to glide to its target, the Kwajalein Atoll, in the South Pacific. The Pentagon said an anomaly was noticed just after liftoff and the mission terminated to ensure public safety. The weapon had successfully flown from Hawaii to the Kwajalein Atoll in a previous test in November 2011. Iskander M short range ballistic missiles fired into Ukraine from Russia have been found to contain decoys that trick air defense radars and heat sinking missiles, according to The Drive. One 9M723 missile can be loaded with at least six of what the collective awareness to unexploded ordnance group has identified as Russian 9B899 submunition. These decoys are released during the terminal phase of the missile's flight. According to Michael Deutzman of the James Martin Center for Nonproliferation Studies, likely in response to the primary 9M723 missile being illuminated by air defense radars, according to the drive. The decoys themselves seem to contain a jammer that can disrupt radar frequency emitters and a heat source to mislead infrared-guided missiles. And the New York Times explains that their use could partly explain Ukrainian air defense weapons' difficulty in intercepting Russia's Iskander missiles. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.